Good morning! Welcome back to a new vlog. It is Saturday, so I am gonna film a little weekend vlog. We actually have Sky Fire today. Um, it's 9 a.m. I ordered some running shoes last night, which are ready to be picked up, so we'll probably go for a walk in just a little bit to go pick them up. I don't know what to have for breakfast right now. I'm out of hot cross buns, and all that's left is cornflakes, and I'm not digging cornflakes anymore, so. Do I just get breakfast when I go for a walk? I don't know. And then I'm trying to decide if I do my hair before I go for my walk or if I do it when I get back, which again, I don't know. I'm gonna curl my hair today. I don't remember if that's what I was just saying, but anyways. I'm gonna do my makeup as well. So I'll need to do that like this morning. Um, I'm doing Tegan's makeup at about 2.30. So they have a photo shoot this afternoon. Um, so I'm going to do her makeup for that and then we're going to try and leave ours at three, go pick up Zoe and Sarah and Laura, I think. Um, if you don't know who Laura is, that's my stepsister, um, and Sarah, the blonde Sarah is my cousin. Um, just so that can kind of make things a little bit easier for you guys to understand who the heck's who. But yeah, pick them up and then we're all going to head out and park at my work and, and then just walk until we find a spot that we like to sit. And then Hunter's pretty much going to keep the spot for us. Um, and I don't know who's coming for the walk. I know mum and I are going and I think Sarah's going to go. Other Sarah is also going to meet us there. Um... But yeah, then we need to go for like another 20 minute walk to find the strawberry van, which I'm so excited about. So I'll probably have to get like four cups, two cups for me and two cups for Hunter because it's a 25 minute walk from the side of the lake we're going to sit on. Um, oh, when I got my nails done last night, they're looking a bit refreshed, but I think this is going to be the last time I get them done. We'll see how the day goes. Anyways, I wanted to come in here before I did anything to get ready and show you guys some stuff that I bought yesterday because I bought a little bit of stuff, like a fair amount, but not like heaps. And my My Protein parcel came in, which I'm pretty confident has more than I ordered in it. So I'm like really excited about that. Anyways, let's go through it together. Right, so we're going to go through the my protein parcel first. Firstly, I got two shakers. I only remember one shaker being in my cart and that came as a free product, I'm pretty sure. No, it didn't. There was one shaker in my cart though. Um, anyway, so this is just a plain shaker and this one has protein samples in it. So we have We've got cranberry and raspberry, peach tea, keto, and strawberry kiwi flavor. So I'm hoping I like one of these because I don't have any protein powder that I actually like, kind of like. So um, I then got a collagen creamer. So this you can like add to your coffee and your milks and I'm excited to try it out. Sports bra. I remember looking at this. I don't remember adding it to my cart. I only remember adding one pair of black leggings to my cart. It's the bra. Cute like racer back. Um, and it's red which is nice. Something different. I then got a pair of black leggings. As I said I only remember having one in my cart. Cool. These ones are the ones I remember adding. They're literally just like plain black. Um, with a small like. MP down on the leg there. I don't have any black leggings anymore, so really needed some. We have another pair of black leggings. These ones are like different, completely different look and everything, but they've got MP at the top. And then they've got like the airy fabric at the back. I have no idea if you can see that, but they also don't have a seam at the front, which is nice. And they've got MP on the back leg here. Um, but they're just completely different to like this pair. So anyways, we'll try them both on. That's all I got from my protein. So we're going camping for Easter. Um, and we're going with like quite a lot of people this time. And Hunter and I only have four plates and four bowls. And that's like it. Um, 
So I thought I'd grab some more because there'll be more than four of us. Um, and we might not wash up heaps. So I got us pink and purple plastic bowl and plate set, which also like came with like cups. These were all two dollars each. And then I got a new lot of like knives and forks and spoons because ours are actually missing half of them. I also got another, um, I don't even know what they're called, little flippy things, um, spatulas. I got another one of them because we're always missing our spatulas, so I figured I'll just get one. Big W had these mugs on clearance, so they were 50 cents each. So I got a pink and a blue for Hunter and I. I picked up my prescription, yay. We got a chopping board. And it's got like grip on the back. I got a new tan mitt, so hopefully this disaster won't happen again. Some scissors, a pack of toothpicks. This is all to go into our camp kit as well. Um, Mum and I got the stainless wine, stainless steel wine, like tumbler cups. So she got a black pack and I got a pink pack, and we just split them in half so we had one for hunter one for me and then she had one for her and one for her boyfriend and then i got some protein bars for hunter we've got a collapsible sink with like a plug because where we're going um is literally just bush so we won't have like a sink or anything to wash up and we will need that a pair of pajama pants they have little sheep on it um they look really cute they were really comfy um, but they're like a thin PJ, so they're going to be good for autumn and spring. And I then got a singlet, like just a racer back one in their pajama section because they're only $4. These pajama pants that I bought, which was like my intention of going to Kmart. I wanted to get either these pajama pants or the Hogwarts pajama set, but they were sold out. So we just got these ones, but these are a thicker version. I got a Twix and that's my haul. This is the sports bra and I do have one of the leggings on. Um, they're quite comfy actually and I'm glad because they all fit. The sports bra is obviously not a very stable, not stable, what's the word I'm looking for? Supportive. Supportive. This is just going to be one like if I'm not going for a run, like when I'm going to the gym and I'm just doing like an arm workout and I don't need something really supportive. Let's do some skincare. She had a massive to-do list to do before we could leave for the shops, so I helped her out with that so as that we could leave a bit quicker. And then we spent an hour at the shops, maybe a little bit longer, um, which is longer than both of us had intended. Got all the stuff that I needed, so that was fine. And mum got her stuff. I picked up my shoes, so I'll show you that. I need to be ready in 45 minutes to go and do Tegan's makeup, and I need to curl my hair get dressed and do my makeup still so that's super fun um we just had lunch had some dobinsons for lunch it was really yummy good enough i'll deal with that after i need to get dressed it's 2 23 that took me way too long to do my hair Anyways, okay, I'm ready. Literally, it is 2.38, so I have to run, but I still haven't changed my pants, but I'll do that after I do Deacon's makeup.
evening, happy Sunday. It is 10.20 right now. I've just gotten out of the shower. We had another fire alarm last night. How fun. So we got back home and I went to bed. I didn't end up getting dinner at Skyfire yesterday because so I'd lined up for Grease Monkeys with Sarah and then Zoe other Sarah and Laura all lined up for their good dogs, which is what Hunter wanted. Anyways, so I got to the front of the line maybe like 20 minutes after we started lining up. We got to the front of the line for Grease Monkeys an hour after we lined up. Um, just for them to say there was an hour wait on food. So we lined up at 6.45 and we didn't get to the front till 7.55, so it was like over an hour. And then fireworks went off at 8.30, so an hour went on food, and it was after the fireworks. It's like, that's already just ridiculous. Yeah, essentially after they told us, like, it was going to be an hour wait, we literally just went back to our seats and just sat there. It was already dark, so, like, we missed the entire sunset, like, everything, which sucked. Um, so, yeah, we just went and sat back, and then because of all the road closures, we couldn't really go past like anywhere for dinner afterwards like we tried one place but they were all closed that was only 10 o'clock so that was so fun and then yeah after we dropped Sarah off at home we literally just came straight home so I think we were home maybe about 10 30 we've been home since 10 40 last night got home at 10 40 probably got like upstairs at like 10 45 ish um and then I came straight in took my makeup off got dressed and went to bed um, was hungry but also didn't want to eat that late so now I'm starving and we essentially don't have any food in the house that I ate. Gaffa was still really fun but I'm really disappointed at the lack of like service for Grease Monkey like the way they were doing it they could have like announced to the line like ages back that it was going to be over an hour wait for food like they were already incredibly slow at doing anything else so like why not just announce that i think next week i want to start doing my sunday reset on saturdays so take a note out of mum's book she's only just started doing it though um and yeah like get the house ready on saturdays so then sundays i can literally just relax and do nothing all day long. 16 degrees outside right now and raining today so I am in my jumper and I put on my PJ pants that I got the other day. Um, so we're going to chill in that all day until I go to the shops and then I'll literally chuck leggings on and that'll be it. Like I'm not going to get changed otherwise. Mm -hmm.